Hello and welcome to the 719 Rental Report for this 15th of April 2022. It's Saturday and it'll be our last uh, re report for the week. We'll pick up again on Tuesday. So I believe there's an error going on with the system today. Um, there's some controversy with the Rental Beast versus the Legacy um, Rental Property Search Program. This Rental Beast thing nobody asked for and it doesn't do anything like it takes away all our power so there's been some complaints and that's getting taken care of by the MLS system but looking at the data today double check everything before you apply to anything um, this looks like the original data from a week and a half ago I mean this is what they're telling us is accurate but I compared it to what I, I saw about a week ago and it looks the same I mean, it says there's 153 properties on the market. Yesterday, there was 127. At no point in the last three months has there ever been that many added to the list in one day. So be very careful with this list. Don't rely on it. Double check everything. Call me if you need to. I'll help you out. But it does look like this has got bad data. But I want to make it available for you in case it is accurate. I'm just saying be cautious. Double check anything. Don't pay an application fee until you have confirmed that it's actually accepting applications. Save your money. Don't pay an application fee. Don't click apply now on the website. Find out first if they're accepting applications or how many applications they already have. So I know three of them on here were gone yesterday. For sure, 100% confident of. There's other ones that I'm, I'm pretty confident of as well. So this could be bad data. Just be careful, I'm warning you. I don't want you to have problems. Uh, I debated about not showing you the list, but it was pointed out to me. Um, my better half is, you know, has good points. Um, this could be accurate, but the wisest thing to do is to double check ahead of time. You know, one way to get around this whole rental issue of is the MLS right or is it not? And then the limited number of properties that are on the MLS system is a rent to own. I can help you out with that. So. Let's just talk about how we can do rent to own. Basically, you look for houses to purchase in like you're given a range. Like you apply for this rent to own property process, which is less than applying for an apartment, by the way. Um, they give you a price range. These are this is your window you can look at. And then we go look at properties. I submit it in, and then they make a cash offer for that property to the homeowner. And then they rent it back to you. So you know what the terms are, what you can buy it back at in the next five years. They tell you the whole, each each year, what you can buy it back at. So when mortgage rates, interest rates come back down, you are better equipped to you know, buy a house with a lower interest rate. You can, if you have some credit issues, it'll help you get your credit back up. If you're trying to save up some money for uh, the down payment, it will give you that time to save some money. So give me a call if you're interested in renting the own. And, uh, We'll help you out with that. So let's take a look at the list. Um, it does go back to the old version. This isn't the new version where we could look at number of pets and dates available and all of that. Or it does have the dates available, my mistake. But you can't see if it has pets or things like that. Um, this is a little bit less data. But let's take a look at it and just see what happens. Give me a call if you need help. This is sorted by price from lowest to highest. And again, it shows 153 properties on the market. So it, it's a huge jump if it's true. I mean, that'd be fantastic. There's a shortage of rental properties out there. But uh, again, let me just warn you, be careful before you hit apply. Don't spend your money unless you know it's an accurate listing. How do you know it's accurate? Well, you call the management company um, usually they won't answer on a Saturday. Management companies don't work Saturday and Sunday, so um, they will they they will be open and honest with you. They're required to. And uh, if they won't get you an answer for whatever reason, give me a call. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. Um, I'll do some cross checking and I can go find out the property owner themselves. So just you know. I look out for you. I'm concerned that people get taken advantage of by those who uh, 
control the things that everyone else wants. So it's kind of, it's rude, it's ridiculous. I'll help you every way I can. And hopefully it's Saturday and, and you're out enjoying yourself and you're, you're not having to worry about looking for a place to live, an apartment or anything like that. But if you are, um, we're here for you seven days a week. This has been the 719 Rental Report brought to you by the Hayes Property Group of Colorado Springs. Here for all your real estate needs, buying, selling, renting, investing, we can help you with all of those areas.